America, how are we doing today? Building overhead cabinets, at least framing it in anyway. Uh, so what I've got here, um, I'm using these two by twos, uh, one and a half by one and a half. I'm using these two by twos and I put them up there just to see about where I wanted them, okay? And I got the main screws in. These, these are the screws going up into the rafters, the steel strut above, okay? And I've already got the holes drilled in there and got these lined up and everything. That's what I was having such a hard time with that one there, is trying to find that, holding it up there. It's a tube man job is what it is. And you hold it up there and I grabbed that board to hold the other end and trying to get it up there lined up and find that hole that already got you know drilled into the steel. You can hit the wood anywhere. But to hit the wood and go through it and hit that hole that's already drilled, because these are, these are uh, sheetrock screws, they don't self-tap, okay? Um, <clears throat> now, like on that one there, I think I had four ribs that I hit. This one here is the, the rest of it going on back, uh, uh, there are more cabinets going back. And I'm only going to hit three ribs, actually backwards here. I'm only going to hit three ribs. That's why I put washers on here, because these, these are going into steel and they're holding a lot of weight. And I didn't want the screw to, you know, just the, the head to just rip on through. So I put washers on there to hold that a lot of weight. Now I'm going to have other supports in here, and there's more of them, so I don't have to do the washers thing anymore. And I'm also gluing that wood to wood gluing, okay? Um, now this is going to be the one up on the ceiling, okay? This is the one on the wall. So they will be positioned about like this. So what I need to do, let me find a board real quick. All right, so what I need to do is cut wood... This is up against the wall, and this will be up on the ceiling. So I need to make another board. There it is right there. I haven't cut this one to length yet. This is one I was getting pieces off of. But uh, this, will be on the, this will be on the wall. This one will be coming straight out, and then this one will be up on the ceiling like this. I need to put uh, supports in here, across here, and then upward. And i got to cut these to the right lengths. Now, because the roof is on a, a bow, okay, this board actually sits at a little bit of a cocked angle, okay? Instead of sitting nice and square, it cocks over just a little bit because of the bow in the roof. So what I've done, <clears throat> when I use my chop saw over there, um, I cut them at an angle at the top. If you can see, it's lower here and higher here. This is the cutoff piece that I, I still need to cut the right length. But when I was cutting them off, that's that angle I was cutting, okay? So when this board is up on the ceiling and it's cocked at an angle, this is square to it, okay? It's not, there's no gap. If I just did a square, it would be up here and this would be cocked at an angle and see there'd be a gap on that side right there. So that's uh, just little things. It's, it's not super precise because it's just kind of rough, you know, roughing it in right now. But uh, I want to get things fairly good, you know, so. Uh, and then on the one when uh, as I build this bottom one, I'll build these pieces across here like this, you know, these these uh, center pieces too long. But you get the idea. I'll build these in here, and then I've got some of this. Uh, I wish I knew what all these boards are called. It's not Fumica. It's not. It's basically pegboard without any holes in it. Okay. It's uh, it's white on this side, and it's brown on that side. Okay, and it's the same stuff that has all the little holes in there and you hang tools on in your, tool, in your garage or whatever, pegboard. It's the same material, it just doesn't have the holes in it. So uh, anyway, I'm going to rip a piece here and uh, that will fit over here and that will be the floor of the cabinet up above. Then once I get that, and the reason I'm putting them in is because these uprights will sit on top of that. Okay, alright, so anyway that gets me the floor in, roughed in, put in. Let me show you inside here. All right, we come inside here, and this one's up, and it's pretty sturdy. It's pretty sturdy. Now, I'm going to be putting pots and plant, pots and pans, plates, maybe food, canned goods, stuff like that in there. I want to be nice and solid. And this one here, I've got one, two, three, four going into the rib, uh, into the in the roof, and that's it. Okay. So I don't know if I'd want to put a ton of weight up here, but. Uh, you know, paper plates and that kind of stuff, I don't know. But anyway, uh, I'll judge how, how sturdy I think it is when I get done here. And that's what I'll put in here as a, and then I'll, I don't know if I'll leave this open, I'll maybe cut, you know, put wood, you know, oak trim around this or something and just leave them open. Um, being a trailer, 
and you're traveling down the road, you're up in the pickup and you don't know if you hit a bump if stuff falls. If you're in a van or something, you can hear it and you stop and go, you know, uh, take care of it. But in this, I don't know, I think I might want to put shelves on or uh, doors on this. And if I do put doors on there, I'll probably hinge them at the top and swing them upward. Okay, something like that. So I don't know, we'll see as we go how, how much I want to get into this. But anyway, that's for today. That's what I've got today is, is just framing these in and showing you how I'm doing them. Now, this is screwed here and screwed here, and I glued and glued on both of them, okay? So there's glue and screw. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's... It's probably enough for all the more I'm going to put in here. If I make this super strong, this is still the weak point up here, okay? And there's a whole lot of holes. I put a lot of screws in the side here, so there's a lot of weight support there too. But this is the weak point right here, and I can't really screw it into anything else. So... Uh, unless I screw all the way through and put a washer and a bolt on the, you know, on the top of the roof. And I don't want to do that, just in one more place to leak. So this is as strong as it's going to get, I think. I was thinking about maybe putting some metal straps around here and put a screw here and a screw here. But I, I think this is plenty strong. This is the weak point, okay? That means I won't be putting anything, I won't be putting barbells up here or anything, you know. It'll be fairly light stuff up above. And then uh, when I made this, I... Uh, I got to put another bar here somehow. Uh, I screwed up. <laughs> you can see. <laughs> uh, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. I'm not a perfect carpenter. Uh, I get I get it done good enough kind of thing, you know. So uh, it looks good when I'm done, I guess. So all right, that's enough for today. Let me finish doing this and put that other one up, and uh, we'll talk <laughs> talk at you in a few days. All right. So take care.